right, these showed up today from Mega Box, and I have not. I've, I've seen some of their Beast Box stuff. Uh, I'm def 52 Toys. I'm definitely into. Uh, there's a MoMA, I think, and a Mammoth. Uh, looks really cool. There's Vanguard, which is a Triceratops. They did a little uh, Tyrannosaurus Raptor looking one. Uh, several variations of that. There's a Gorilla, and there, there's something else, and there's some more coming that I um, may have to check out now because they're pretty cool. Um, this, however, is their Alien. But you see, it's got the Alien license and everything. The 20th Century Fox fully uh, licensed Alien Mega Box figure. And you can see they're stored. I got two of them. They're stored in their little cubes. And I, I bought them both out so you can see how these cubes work. Because you can stack them. They lock together as a stack. Um, you can plug them in side to side, uh, however you wish. And, and even when they're locked together on top, you can plug them side to side. So you can have a whole grid of these things. I love the, the very uh, neon green uh, transparent cases for them. Um, and man, Carter Burke's job would have been so much easier if they could just come like this, huh? So anyway, we'll go ahead and check these out. They're really pretty fun, and I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do one of them. But, uh, but yeah, we'll go ahead and set this one off to the side. So you open up the box, pull out the cube, and you can see there's a couple of non-black pieces here, and we're gonna pop those off first. So we'll just untab this from up here. Uh, and there's a couple little tabs here on the hands into this that will free up this part. And then you can bring this whole thing and it untabs up here. And this piece unfolds, flip out his little tail piece, and then flip this around into a little face hugger, which is really cool. And then this piece on the back, unclip these pieces, and then unpeg it from the body. Oh, we already popped out. And inside here is you get a little alien egg, and then it opens up, and there's even some paint on the inside of there that opens up. And inside, there's a little tiny soft rubber chest burster. Now, it is uh, a little uh, conflicting with actual alien biology because everyone knows the face hugger comes out of the egg, and then the chest burster comes out of you. But uh, that's uh, that's way too bright. But yeah, it's, it's still pretty cool. You just, just store him in there. Everything stores. You get an, a xenomorph, a face hugger, an alien egg, and a chest burster all in one set. And if you order one of the first wave, all of the first wave exclusives, and you'll even see it called out here on the packaging, you get an additional little glow-in-the-dark egg and chest burster. And I'm going to try to see if I can show off this glow-in-the-dark. This, uh, let me hold it up here by the light. This uh, review setup, not always great for... Uh, Glow in the dark stuff, but oh, whoa, look at that. Yeah, you can see that. That glows even with some of the background light here from here in the kitchen. That glows pretty well. So that's pretty cool. Nice little bonus. And I'll blind you as we get all the lights back on here. And then we'll work at the main body of the xenomorph himself. All right, so for some stupid reason, uh, my camera decided to shut off while I transformed the whole second half of the figure here, the main part. So we're doing it again. Anyway, so here he is. Now that you've got the face hugger and the egg and the chest burster all off to the side and attached, you've got the base cube here of the xenomorph itself. And transform it, you just want to untab these little things down here. They're, te they're pegged into the hand. The instructions are a little unclear in a few places, uh, mostly just because of the dark printing. Not as bad as most Transformers instructions these days. So unflip those out, and that should free the hands up to and allow them to kind of rotate out here. You can see the hands have, like, these four fingers on either side of the middle piece are on one solid piece, and then each of the exterior... Uh, digits is on its own individual hinge here on the hands. So we'll untag those and flip those out. They won't flip all the way out yet, but that's okay. So I'll play those. We'll unpeg the uh, the back part of the leg tabs on the back here, and then the feet untab from these slots up here next to the head. 
The feet are on ball joints, so go ahead and unpeg them from the side and rotate them around to the front of the leg. I'm not entirely sure which side is the front of the leg. It's oh, this way. Because this is his Tim Tum. And then you take the hips and push them back into place. They were, they were spread out for box mode under here. And then they, they click back in, which lowers them a little bit and gives them a little, and clips them out of the way of the arms here. The arms, we want to uh, go ahead and uh, untab them from up here. The, the elbow, behind the elbow piece, tabs into the shoulder piece. And then you can rotate this whole assembly down, and then you'll untab this piece from the head. There's a little tab here. Be careful with it, uh, but there's a tab there that slots into the side of the head on each side. So untab those, and then you can bring the arms down and around. Bend them at the elbow. This panel that was that the foot had tabbed onto folds flat against the back part of the, the body there. Lift the head up, fold these panels down, which will allow the head to turn all the way around. Not yet. And then you can fold these back up. You can actually fold them down around to the back of the arm on a separate hinge so they get out of the way here. You can see the, you can kind of see the skull. There is a bone colored skull, like humanoid skull inside the uh, transparent dome. It's really smoky, but it is in there. Um, come around here to the back. And you can uh, unpeg this and unfold it and unfold it and unfold it to make his tail and then even keep unfolding because there's even a little tiny tip here to make the tip of his tail. And then he's got a little posable tail here on the back. It's just vertical hinges, so it's up to you. Uh, you can fold this piece down to reveal some detail. He's got his little tubes back here. All sorts of cool detail on this guy. And then the dome, uh, you can leave it short like this and have it be intact like it usually is. Uh, if you want it to be longer, you can extend it. It does open it up and makes the transparent bit not connected anymore, but it does give him a longer... Uh, elongated dome there. And of course, he wouldn't be an alien without his magical mystical tongue, and if you pop his jaw open, his little tongue pops out on a spring. And it can be a little bit of a pain to get it to stay in or get it back in in the first place. You just gotta kinda push it up with one finger and then close his jaw around it. And it helps if you use two different hands because getting it up in there and then closing the jaw over it, it has to be lined up just right. But then again, if you don't want it to pop out, you just go blink, and out, out it comes. He's pretty solid. So I, I had a couple people ask if his joints were loose like some of the other figures. I have not. This is my first uh, Beast Box figure, so uh, that I've actually physically handled. I've seen some cool ones, like I want Moma and the Gorilla, and there's all sorts of cool stuff. And kind of digitigrade his legs here. Um, but he seems pretty solid to me. Like I haven't had any real issues with the figure itself. Um, and he's fun to pose. Like this is here's here's his basic standing upright humanoid pose. But because of all the joints, like he's got a he's got a dual hinge here in his neck as well as a swivel joint side to side, so he can move his head forward and back and up and down. Uh, there's these pieces can swivel out of the way. There's a ball joint here at the shoulder. He's got hinged elbows. There's a ball joint at the wrist as well as like I said, those articulated fingers. He's got a ball joint at the hip. You can extend them out if you wish, but a ball joint in there and a hinge, uh, the dual hinged knees, the ball joint at the foot, and then even his toes and heels are on individual hinges. So you can get him in some really cool, you can get his, his head will come up and back enough that you can get him down in some down on all fours, skittering through the hallways and the, and the ventilation tunnels type of poses, this tail back. However you want to do it. You can make him real sleek and low. You can have him stand upright. Really fun little figure. I love that it comes with, like one single set comes with all of the basic alien paraphernalia. The, the egg, the face hugger, the chest burster, even though the chest burster lives in the egg. Which is not biologically correct, but whatever. <laughs> For, according to the movies. Uh, they do have... In the works, I've seen an alien queen as well as the uh, loader mech 
uh, that also turn into little boxes. Like, I'm really... The litter mech looks cool, but it seems a little empty to fight without a humanoid in it. But, um... But it still looks like a cool mech. The uh, Alien Queen looks fantastic, and I can't wait for that uh, to show up or to come out. But yeah, there is the fully licensed Mega Box Xenomorph figure. Lots of fun. I'm definitely going to have to check out some of the other uh, characters that I have been interested in from these guys because uh, this guy is great. I love aliens. Um, I love transforming things, as anybody who watches my channel knows. Um, and such a compact little package with a cool little kind of chibi xenomorph here is super fun but there it is uh 52 toys a mega box alien